All right, good evening. So today I'm at one of my favorite sushi places having sushi, and one of the best things to have with sushi is on sake. And I figured we can go over some of the um, common turns on a sake list, so it'll help you to order a sake next time. So with sake, I think there's two most important things you need to know. The word that talks about the rice polish ratio, and then there's a word that talks about the material that's being used. And then sometimes they're then interchangeable, not interchangeably, but then sometimes you'll see one but not the other and it gets a little confusing. So at this place in particular, they have their uh, regular sake list and their premium sake list. So the word today we're going to teach you today is the first one we're going to talk about the polish ratio. Whenever you see a word ginjo, where let's see, and daiginjo, so right here on the menu you say ginjo and daiginjo. Those are words that refer to the rice polish ratio. So when you make sake, you actually have to polish the rice, get rid of the outside of the rice kernel, and you get to the center where it's more creamy and a little more pure in flavor. So how much they polish off, there's a word for it. So when it says ginjo, that means they polish off uh, they polish off 40% of the rice, so you're only left with 60% left of the rice kernel. And when it says daiginjo, it means they polish off 50% of the rice and you're only left with 50%. So that is the term that describes the rice polish ratio. And the second word that's very important to know is the word jumai. Jumai here. Jumai versus the other word is Hanjozo. So that, those two words refer to the material that's being used in the sake. When you see the word jumai, jumai means there's nothing but water, yeast, and rice. It's a pure sake made with just um, uh, rice, water, and yeast. And when you say hanjozo, that means you can add some brewer's distillery. So think about like fortified wine, so they can add other stuff to it, and that's what's called hanjozo. And here's the confusing part. When a, when a menu just says genjo and daijinjo and it doesn't say jumai in front of it, that only tells you that it's polished down to a certain percentage. And generally, the more it's polished off, the more expensive the sake is, because the more material you're wasting. But then on the other hand, when it doesn't say jumai, that very much means that it could be um, added with the Boer's distiller, uh, Boer's, um, dis distiller alcohol which means it's not a pure sake item. It's not good or bad, but generally on the premium side, when you come to a premium sake list, they're almost always all rice. But um, I'm not saying adding the distiller alcohol is a bad thing. It usually, it sometimes does add a little body and a little structure and a little flavor and alcohol that can be just simply achieved by rice. So it's not always a bad thing. But then just keep in mind, because some restaurant, a lot of time once people learn the word genjo and daiginjo, they go, okay, that's what I want. I want daiginjo, because daiginjo means it's polished off the most and it's the best quality. But then sometimes when it's not, a uh, uh, jumai got daiginjo, it's kind of like, sure, you're polishing off a lot, but you're still not getting just a pure rice quality. So hopefully next time when you're in a restaurant, ordering sake, it helps you a little bit. Just remember, if you're looking for the best of the best, you want to look for a sake that says it's jumai, which is made always rice, and daiginjo, which means it's polished off 50% or more. So hopefully that helped. With that said, it's time to say cheers and kanbei and have dinner. We'll see you next time. Bye.